Good day, ladies, gentlemen, and all else. I'm back, finally. It certainly hasn't been yesterday, has it? In fact, it's been a few months. So, first and foremost, I want to say sorry for being gone for that long. My break took a little longer than I first expected, and that's on me. I take full responsibility for that. I was quite busy with planning other projects and planning out some future videos, sorting some things in my life out and just spending time with my loved ones over the course of the summer and the start of fall. I've also started dabbling in 3D modeling. I'm still a newbie and it shows, but it's actually great fun. Now I'm really back, and trust me, quitting this channel never even crossed my mind. How could I? I simply just wanted to be in the right mindset for my eventual return and make sure I planned things accordingly so that I was ready for posting again. That doesn't mean I haven't been busy with future videos for the channel, though. I've got quite a few ideas brimming in the back of my mind now, and several video scripts of mine are practically finished, so believe me, I haven't just sat around doing nothing for the past few weeks. It's just been a little difficult to really get going with producing these videos, you know? Sometimes you hit a bit of a creative wall that is hard to climb. Oh well, none of that is important now. What matters is that I'm here, and I'm here to stay. So, over the course of this update video, I want to talk a little bit about what you can expect from this channel moving forward, and I want to talk about some of the things that I've thought about regarding this channel over the course of this break. This is of course the month of October, the month of spookiness. Therefore, expect a few horror-themed videos in the near future. I have three ideas of potential videos so far, and any more than that will be extra content if I have the time to produce them. Among these three primary videos is of course a creepypasta Halloween special, that goes without saying. Another video will be a light analysis of a certain video game level, and another will be of a, uh, really bad horror movie, hopefully. On that note, creepypastas, eh? You gotta love them. Man, I've been covering those for basically six years now. <laughs> That's insane. And it's really crazy to me to think that there are some of you watching right now that have stuck with my content ever since 2013. Six years. Where did the time go? I think the fact that I've been covering these internet horror stories for so long is interesting, because if you compare the content I was making at the beginning compared to what I do now and the person that I am now, my first few creepypasta videos... Looking back on them now, I think they're really rough and a little embarrassing just because of the way I acted in some of those videos. So much shouting and fiery passion, for lack of a better word. I was a very angry and cynical teenager when I began my YouTube career, and this led me to say some stupid things, and I didn't quite realize or sometimes understand the consequences of my words or actions, but I see those things more clearly now. In many of my older videos, that ignorance showed, and for the time, yeah, that type of content worked back in those days, and for the most part, I got a very positive reception for these videos. Looking back though, this isn't the type of content that I am most proud of, and certainly not the type of content I want to make today, which I think is shown in the way my videos have evolved. Now that I'm older, I recently turned 21, I have calmed down quite a bit, and there's no need for me to shout endlessly at these stories if I dislike them. Giving thoughtful, helpful criticism and advice can help just as much, if not more, and that is something that has become increasingly apparent for me more in recent years. Now, a good roast here and there of poor writing or poor content can be entertaining, but I think it works best if it is all kept in good fun and everyone can laugh together. So, if any author or YouTube commenter whom I talked about or criticized rudely in the past felt hurt or saddened due to my somewhat abrasive and confrontational nature back in those days, I want to say... Sorry. Unless an author or creator has demonstrably acted poorly, I nowadays see no reason to criticize them or get unreasonably upset. So hopefully that has shown with my more recent outputs. Unless an author or creator has acted badly, I want to keep the criticism strictly to their stories or their content. I don't want to attack them as people. That to me doesn't contribute to anything. My thought process now is that if something deserves criticism, I will of course give it that. And if I feel the need to really go in and roast something hilariously bad, I will do it. And if something is really egregious, yeah, I'll let people know. But there are good ways and bad ways of going about delivering that criticism or comedy, and if I have to, I want to punch up, not down. I'm not saying I won't get angry or passionate in the future, that's impossible. 
I'm just saying that I have and will be more thoughtful of what I do in my videos going forward. So, thanks for listening to that part of the video. That has been something that has been floating around in my mind for a while now, which became all the more clear now that I have been able to stop and think, and it feels good to have finally been able to put it on the record. With that out of the way, what exactly does the future hold for this channel? Like I said, I have been covering creepypastas for 6 years now, and it's certainly gone up and down over the course of those years. Therefore, I think it's time I start putting my efforts into other types of content as well more seriously. I'm not saying I'm abandoning these internet spooky tales, as I do like them. I simply just want to start doing other things as well, and diversify my content. I want to talk about things that interest me, like movies or video games, whether they be good or bad or in between. And maybe I'll want to play some of those games for you too. And I certainly hope you'll join me in those endeavors. I think it'd be really cool if you did. Moving forward, you'll be seeing many more reviews of media from me. I've already completed a few scripts for some, uh interesting video game reviews and topics regarding those, so look forward to that. On top of that, I want to start looking at some interesting movies as well. Finally, to satiate you creepypasta lovers out there, I'm not abandoning them like I said. In fact, I've come up with an idea for a show that I think will be interesting. A show where I will pick completely random creepypastas, let's say three a video or something, as long as they're not too lengthy from around the web, and read them for you while giving my thoughts on them, either periodically as I go along or after reading them. Sort of like my blind creepypasta readings, but a bit more organized. I think more simple videos like that can make it easier for me to give you spooky videos a little more often, and since I know some of you want me to do good stories more, that could be a good way of going about it. I do want to strike a balance between good and bad creepypasta stories, you know? I'll also cover single stories in some videos like I've done recently too. I will also try to make some more creepypasta top lists when I find the time and energy, but since I have been doing those for so long, they've become a little bit harder and less creatively stimulating to make, so we'll see how those go. They are not disappearing, but truth be told, they may appear a little less frequently on the channel. That's just me being upfront with you guys, I gotta be honest. Creepypastas are a really niche topic, and I can't keep doing things simply out of obligation here. That's just not gonna make for very good videos. I wanna make videos I am truly passionate about and happy with. That's understandable, right? So that should be about it. I think that's all I wanna say for now. Thanks for listening to my ramblings for however long this video will be. I'm glad I was able to talk a little bit about what I've been thinking about for a while now, and I hope I was able to express myself well and that my message goes over well with you, my dear viewers. Look forward to the coming videos on this spooky month of October. It's good to be back now, finally. Thanks for watching everyone, stay awesome. Good bye.